Hi, everyone. I just wanted to talk to you again really quickly about your, um, your Zoom rooms. Uh, I'm, I'm hoping everybody got it right, but just in case, I just want to make sure you go through and check all of your settings. And this is, um, this is, this is a good rule of thumb anytime uh, for any of the meetings that we're having here at the REC. Uh, let's do this. So basically what I want you to do is I don't want you to go through the calendar. Don't go through the calendar when you're setting up your Zoom settings. Go through your desktop Zoom. Go ahead and log on to your desktop Zoom. Go to your account. Go to your settings. Now this is on the desktop. I please uh, don't go through the calendar. Um, this is the this is the the URL you're going to be using for everything. It's the personal meeting ID. That's why I kept saying I don't want two separate IDs. I don't want you to to be having um, you know these. Uh, you know, the, the meetings where people have to, uh, you know, have to sign in or have to wait for you to let them in, set up your personal room like this. And then if you want to change any of the settings, you can do that with your other, with your other meetings. But for your personal um, meeting ID, the way to set up the settings is go to settings, go down, make sure that you're not requiring a password. You're not, um, you're not having them join the waiting room. This is awful. Uh, when you do this. And if you have a free account or a paid account, you can embed the password in the one link. I'm sorry, the, um, yeah, the invite link, the one click invite link. And all of you should have done that. I know several of you didn't go back in again, double check. I think we got most of you fixed, but it, you know, double check just in case. Um, when you're scheduled the meeting, make sure that the host video is on the participant video is on. Okay. This is not true for, um, you know, necessarily for, for very large uh, events, but for you, yes, we want to see everybody. Uh, make sure your telephone and computer audio. Now, this is a huge one. Make sure that you enable join before host. That way, they don't have to wait for you to start the meeting. They can be in there waiting for you to come. You've all been in meetings where I'm not there. It's because I have this clicked. Uh, and this is the best way to make sure that if you get kicked out of a meeting, they don't also get kicked out and not be able to get back in. Um, you know, if you if you mess up, you could lose your chance to uh, to work with these people again. So, please, 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 join before host on right. Enable personal meeting ID on. These can be on um, on this one off. You don't want people muted upon entry entry, and that's just because um, you want to be able to hear them, right? You can set up an upcoming reminder email if it allows you, but that's not that important. Um, chats are not that important. Yeah, not that important. Not that important. And what is important, screen sharing. Please do this. Do not make people only um, be able to sc share the screen if you give them permission each time. I mean, really, what, wh why are you trying to hoard the permission to share the screen? Make it so everybody can share it. Don't leave it at host only. All participants should be able to share and all people should be able to start sharing even when someone else is sharing. Let them take it away from you if they want, right? Um, what else? These are, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. This is a big one. Allow removed participants to rejoin. So once somebody is removed, allow them to get back in again, um, whether they leave on their own or you take them out, let them come back in. If not, uh, what's going to happen? They will, um, uh, you know, they will uh, not be able to come back to you. They'll be gone. They'll be gone. Um, allow them to rename themselves if they want. Now, um, Hide participant profile pictures in a meeting. Don't, I would really recommend not turning this on because then people are always like, why can't my picture show? And, and they think it's something that they've done. And a lot of times it's just the host. He doesn't know what they're doing. Uh, da -da. Breakout rooms. Um, you can have this on. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Um, this is a big one. Closed captioning. Make sure that you have closed captioning turned on. We actually have it turned on. It's so important that we lock it. So that no matter what, we are getting those closed captions. So when we're using Zoom, if the Zoom, uh, I'm sorry, YouTube rather, if YouTube does not in, uh, automatically create those closed captions, um, and often it doesn't, it has trouble here, you know, recognizing the voices, you have them here, right? You have them here. Um, what?
what else? Anything else that's big? You can have the virtual background on, but it doesn't really matter. You don't want that on for your presentation. You want to have that off and you want to be dressed professionally for the presentation. Um, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, all these are, yeah, the other things are, are not as important. Um, but those things that we talked about are very important. So before the presentation tomorrow, please go back in and check again. And um, and just in general, these are good settings to have in your in your in your Zoom. All right, cool. Bye, everybody. We we'll talk to you later. See you tomorrow. Good luck. I know you're going to do really really well. Take care.